Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over adjusting position, scale, and rotation in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, let's say that I have this logo here for Jeep, but I need to make some adjustments because obviously this doesn't fit in the frame. The options that we want to adjust are going to be found in the Effect Controls panel. It should be in the top left next to your source monitor. If you don't see the Effect Controls panel, go to Window, Effect Controls. Click on the clip that you want to adjust in your timeline first. For me, that will be this logo. Now we can open up the Motion options, and you'll see a number of different values that we can adjust. All of these values in blue control the clip's position, scale, and rotation. If I wanted to move my clip to the right, I can adjust this first value of position which corresponds with the X value of the logo. The second value controls the Y position. Click and drag left and right on any of these blue numbers to make quick adjustments instead of just typing in the value. It's always a little easier that way. Also, if you ever need to reset back to the default value, just use this circular arrow off to the right. Now I'm back to center. Just beneath position, we find the scale option, which is currently set to 100%. I can zoom in to this specific clip by increasing the scale and moving position. Be careful scaling too far above 100% because you start to lose quality and it will eventually be noticeably pixelated. I'm going to reset position and scale back to 100. Obviously, this logo is too big to fit in the frame, so I will lower my scale until it's about the size that I want it to be. If we want to visually stretch our clip, we can turn off uniform scale and let the width be more than the height, or vice versa. Let's reset all of this. I'm going to choose 50%. Lastly, we have rotation. Adjust the value and see how much it rotates. Keep in mind, it will always rotate around the anchor point. By default, the anchor point is placed in the center of the clip. If you want the clip to rotate around a specific point, we can move that around. Click on the words anchor point, and you'll see in the preview a little blue crosshair. This is the anchor point. Let's adjust it to be in the middle of the P. Now, if I adjust my rotation, the whole clip rotates around the P. Let's set everything back to normal, but leave the scale at 50%. One easy way that I like to adjust all of these values at the same time is by clicking on the word motion at the top of the effect controls panel. You'll see that the clip now has a normal bounding box. We can move it around, drag on the edges to shrink it, and even hover near the corners to rotate. Great! Now you know how to manipulate the position, scale, and rotation of any clip. In our next video, we're going to cover how to add transitions to your project.